But first, I have to share a long-awaited experience. This recommendation was one I've heard far too many times. This family-owned frozen custard shop has been a staple to the SEL community for over 90 years. And let's just say, I can see why you all love it so much. Here's an inside look at my first visit to Ted Drew's. It's no question, I have quite the sweet tooth. So you could say I was quite surprised for this. Must do. Welcome to Ted Drew's. Known for not only its delicious concretes, but also its name. Ted Drew Sr. was a St. Louis attraction himself, having won the Muni Tennis Championship each year from 1925 to 1936. His expertise in tennis led him to Florida, where he opened his first frozen custard business in 1929. But it did not take long for the icy treats to make their way back home. In 1930, he opened St. Louis's first Ted Drew's. Decades later, and the STL staple has remained a family business. And it has also remained a popular name. Now tourists from all over stop in to try some of their famous frozen custard. I ran into some first time customers. First time here? Uh, it's great, I've heard all about it. I got lemon crumb and yeah, I definitely come back. Tastes great, really delicious and creamy. Highly recommended. My first time here. Ooh, what'd you get? Chocolate, kind of boring. Chocolate. <laughs> I, of course, had to get the staff recommendation. Brownie on bottom, custard and caramel and fudge. I went with the Christy, but let's take it concrete style. My first time ever having Ted Cruz. Oh, oh yes, this oh, is wow. a must do. Oh, the brownie, the brownie, you can taste the brownie bites in it. And that recommendation came from Larry Thayer, and I have to say, oh man, I loved that custard. Take a look at your screen there for further information about planning your own visit to Ted Drew's. And keep in mind, I'm still looking for recommendations. Please email me, marysmustdos at ksdk.com, so I can know where to go next.